This is the white gold Shaka. It's designed by Kevin Sanslone in Whistler, BC. Kevin spent pretty much a whole lifetime riding pow around Whistler, so he really knows what he's doing when it comes to designing a powder board. This board is actually designed to be ridden at the same length or even shorter than your regular board. The reason for that is it's wider up front and then it tapers at the tail. So your tail is going to sink in and then you're going to get a lot of float up here. Kevin worked with the guys at Battalion to build this, so it has a triple base technology and basically that means the edges are beveled on either side here and that's going to help you just float through the powder. The profile of the board behind the front insert is going to be regular camber, so that's going to give you pop and stability. This is one of the first boards to be designed with cork in the core, and it's a really lightweight material that also dampens your ride. If you do hit any chunder, you're not riding pure pow, which can happen. This board is also split ready, so it has a bamboo stringer that runs down the center. So if you want to turn this into a split board, you can just go ahead, cut it right down the middle, and you don't have to worry about water damage in your core or weakening your board in any way because of that. This is the white gold Chaka. It's the 153. You can ride it nice and short in pow, but it also comes in longer lengths as well.